When did the popular kid's life fall apart in a few seconds? Three popular kids went swimming in a quarry. Only two came out. It sucks because the one that died was popular for all the right reasons. He was a genuinely good dude. I was the weird kid, but his locker was right next to mine and he was friendly every single day to every single person. One of the popular kids at my school did cocaine in the bathroom, and then saw a female security on his way out, so he decided to put her in a choke hold, but he then was shown how that was a huge mistake when that security guard was a f gymnast and she saved herself, got him in jail. He started doing heavy drugs and fist fought the vice principal. Parents kicked him out at 18, haven't heard much since. I actually ran into one of the super popular kids at the local bar when I came home from college. She would never give me the time of day in high school and I for sure thought she didn't even know I existed. But she approached me at the bar, super drunk, and said hey, didn't I go to high school with you? She then proceeded to tell me she wished she had been nicer to more people in high school and that she has no idea what she's doing with her life. Honestly feels good to know that she's thought about how she treated people back then. Not sure if that's the norm or just a weird occasion. He wrecked his car into a wall and died on prom night. Unfortunately a cheerleader from my school had a four-wheeling accident that left her in an almost vegetative state. Through years and years of hard work on her part, she's been able to gain a little more independence. However she'll never be exactly the same as she was before the accident. It's really sad and crazy how quickly your life can change from an accident. Went out drinking on a Saturday night with a friend of his. He drove home and slammed into a brick wall at 40 miles per hour if I remember the correctly. His friend in the passenger seat barely survived, but he died on impact. The captain of the football time underwent surgery his senior year. I was 13 on the middle school team. His younger brother and I were very close so I was around him a lot, so I looked up to him like an older brother. He drove me to early practices, was very smart, dated a pretty cheerleader, not a mean bone in his body, he had it all. For a 13-year-old, he was my hero. After his surgery he got hooked on painkillers. He went from painkillers to heroin. He was been arrested multiple times for theft and drug possession. This went on for years. I would always ask my friend from middle school how he was doing. It never got better. He died last year. Drugs suck. I miss my hero. Got hit by a car. Went from bully to paraplegic. She was a bully. Nothing good to say about her. But that is a rough end. And that's how Regina George died. His parents divorced and he started acting out. He went from good grades and clubs to failing and drugs. A few of them shot at some tourists in a protected wildlife area. Two or three of them went to prison. No injuries as far as I ever heard but it was still really stupid. I'd moved out of town by that point so any information I got was hearsay. He sent a video of him sucking his own dick to his girlfriend and then it was leaked to the whole school. Is it possible to learn this power? Just the giving yourself head part, nothing else. Someone on Reddit could do this and posted about it. They said it felt more like sucking dick than getting your dick sucked. He was an only child, and his dad had died when he was two, was really happy-go-lucky, and he was popular because he was outgoing, supportive, warm and kind to everybody without fail, and although he was friends with the kind of kids who bullied people, he was the first person to tell them to knock that shit off if he saw it. When we were 16, his mum, who was one of the nicest ladies I ever met in our small town, was crushed to death by a semi-trailer that drifted into her lane. He dropped out of school, he stopped talking to anybody, and he refused to let anyone visit him. I have no idea what became of him. Sorry Jay, I hope your life got better. When she got pregnant and a few years later she moved to another school district. Rumor went around that his parents paid a hefty amount to ignore rape allegations and keep him on the football team. Her mom was diagnosed with dozens of brain tumors the beginning of our senior year, and died before Christmas. Girl went from stable, well off and beautiful to a wreck, then off the map. After that, we lost four students violently, including two sisters stabbed by their stepdad. 
staff quit. Pretty much no one in our senior class made it in life. Suicides followed graduation. 1999 was a really tough year for our school. Lost control of his car when he and his best friend were driving to Taco Bell at night. He came out of it with a fractured collarbone. His friend died on the spot. He was really close with his friend's parents too and vice versa. He made a few posts on Facebook on how he was an idiot and how sorry he was. The dead friend's sister and parents made it very clear that they didn't blame him. It was winter. Black ice. And he was 100% sober. Before he was. Like. A stereotypical popular dude but in the wholesome way. Dropped out of school and became addicted to painkillers. Don't know what happened to him afterwards but it was just sad for everyone. Guy on the football team sent a girl's nudes that the entire football team and a good portion of people in my grade got arrested during class. I haven't seen him since. I don't know that his life really fell apart. Because it turns out his home life was terrible all along. But it definitely shifted how people looked at him. And I went to a small school. So there weren't too many divisions between people when you only have 40-something kids in a grade. Popular is kind of relative. But. A kid's mom decided to leave her husband. The kid's stepdad. The stepdad. Who was known to faculty and was considered a good guy. Stopped by the school to deliver something to his stepson. Cool. Cool. The secretary gave him a pass to drop it off at the stepson's class. Rather than call him down to the office. The stepdad actually had a gun and had no idea where the stepson was during that period. So was roaming the halls. Luckily. A friend of the stepson who knew what an abusive. Dangerous guy the stepdad was happened to be in the office and alerted everyone. We all went on lockdown. The police came. We were stuck for a couple of hours as they swept the school after arresting the guy. Then, it came out that the kid had been abused for the entire time his mom had been married to the guy. And she only was leaving him after he started hitting her. It was a whole thing. And while everyone had pretty much always liked the kid. He suddenly just had everyone feeling sorry for him. Teachers let him go back and redo assignments to boost his grade. People gave him stuff to start over. He just kind of got really closed off and stopped joking around and only hung out with like three people after that. He was known as the abused kid with a stepdad who was going to shoot up a school and that's hard to get over. My brother was the popular kid in school. He was loved by everyone. And most of the people I graduated with know him but since we have different last names didn't know we were related until I told them. He started pills in high school. Then coke. Then heroin. In and out of jail. Forced into rehab instead of serving jail time. Lived in our mom's basement until he was 30. He finally moved out but my parents pay his rent. He's a year sober now though. This guy the first used to hang out with in elementary school was pretty overweight but I'd had the biggest crush on him. I lost track of him a for a few years but I high school he came back and had lost all the weight. He was pretty athletic and was generally well liked. I didn't talk to him but the guy seemed decent. I guess he liked driving like an idiot. The year after he graduated he wrapped his car around a pole. They had to use the jaws of life to pull him out of his car but it was too late. He died on impact. There had been multiple reports that night of people calling the cops to complain about his reckless driving around town. I just remember that chubby little boy I used to spend recess with every day. I'm not sure I would call him the popular kid, but in some circles he was. He was a bit of an arrogant ass in my opinion but had money and liked to spread it around. His dad was a wealth manager. Lots of friends, family, community members were clients. A few years after high school it came out that dad had embezzled millions. Their entire wealth was stolen from friends and family. This rocked him hard. Dad went to jail and he changed his name and totally became a different person. I saw him after that and barely recognized him. His personality and even his posture was different. I felt really bad for him. I ended up having a really good talk with him and I can only imagine what he has gone through. When he hit and killed a state trooper on the freeway while the trooper was out of his car trying to remove debris from the road. 
His dad died. It was really shitty. Before that he was popular, but also smart, motivated, a great athlete and actually a great guy and person, as much as you can be till you're 15. Then his dad died right before he was going to have a football game. Heart attack in the shower before they were gonna leave for it. We heard about it later. And basically, from there, everything seemed to decline. He became angry as you could expect. And I think looking back you'd expect a decline in everything at first. But he just spiraled deeper and deeper. We didn't see him for a while. When I did catch up with him later in high school he'd been so into drugs his brain literally seemed fried. It was sad for every reason. This kicked me in the ass. My twin sons are pretty popular in school. We just found out that my cancer is growing again. I'm 33. I'm not ready to die. My boys are 9. They're not ready for me to die. I can only hope we make the best of however much time we have left together. He got made fun of because he wanted to wait to have sex with his new girlfriend popular girl so he caved and did it. Teen Pregnancy